pretty good. Pretty good. But... Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Three of those. We need three of this. Okay. Should we? And I was looking maybe S5. I mean, like, there is a color tunability, small light. I mean, like, this one? That's the one, yeah. That's one. Uh, okay. So, you know the dinner lights? Yeah. So that's Use the, it before. Yeah. Have you used the, these before, the seven I mean, color or the classic? No, I think the, I think this one, the bicolored one. Mm -hmm. Okay, there you uh, go. So, yeah, that's now six channel. So it's pretty much the same stuff. In terms of the size, yeah. you know, it doesn't. It uses a different ballast. It's kind of on an island a little bit. But okay. the engineering, the the way that the body works, the fact that it's a focusing light. Mm -hmm. Yes, it does. Okay. The optics in the cob are different from everything else, so it doesn't have the same type of range that the monocolors and bicolors have. They have a little bit broader range in terms of the. Oh, the it's not getting focusing. that spot. Okay. Mm -hmm. So not like a six degree spot. This does like 14 10, degrees. Oh, 14. Yeah. Natively, oh, yeah. Okay. So not having to put attachments or accessories to get it so there. If yeah. I put the... the... Yeah. So you're going from like 50 degrees to 15 degrees. But if you want to spot it a little bit more, just put some optics in front. If you really want to spot it down, you can spot it down to a pinhole. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Because you've used it before, you kind of know that works. Mm -hmm. That that part of it mm -hmm. carries over, crosses over. Okay. Yeah. So using an iris and a projector like that works. Soft and not, not hard. I put it out of focus. Okay. Mm -hmm. Does the front part? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you see how uh, you still have a kind of a an edge where the shadow just kind of comes in. It's almost like a bevel, and it has a little bit of aberration because it's mixing to get this purple. It's mixing mm. red and some blue, and mm -hmm. so you see a little bit on the edges. Mm -hmm. So, but it's pretty minor. It's minor, but you can fix it a little bit by doing this. So you can focus, and you can use this thing, which is better than any like frost paper. Oh. If you stack them like this for a larger image like that, now you're getting to a place where it has a much more natural drive. Yeah. And now you're not fringing it. So I did put that okay, no, in front of the glass. Yeah. There's, a, there's a little holder yeah. that comes with it. Oh, it's just another it's like on, on one here. Here. Mm -hmm. It just clamps onto the front and, 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 and you just slot it in. And you just drop them in. Okay. So you can do one, two, three. This is a three. It's kind of like diffusion stuff. Like It's kind of like Hampshire paper. Oh, yeah. Or something like that. But it's less. So I've never seen a piece of frost or Hampshire paper that disrupts the edge like that. Oh. It's either way too much, or there's or a few it... that just don't do it enough. <laughs> but does it something different? Okay. This is the only thing I've seen that does that. And so when you're set at, let's say, when you're set at, let's say you're set at, Okay, if I go to 5600, okay? Okay. I pull it 
pull it out of focus. Pretty good for a six channel light, right? Yeah. Not a lot of fringing. Yeah. Right? So I'm still pulling it out of focus, but I'm actually pretty happy with that. I mean, like still, the op optical. Yeah, it's superb. It's pretty good <laughs> for, for six channel, right? Yeah. So now I'm going to put it back in focus. And I'm going to try this again. I, I just like to show people this. No one ever uses it, and I like to remind people try it. Yeah. You may like it. Yeah. It's just much more beautiful, I think. You know? The bevel, the, the edges bevel when you pull out of focus, it looks like you have like a round edge or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was much cleaner to me. Especially if you're doing tabletop work. So, a set of two of these ones? Let's check out those little lights. I think those are. Okay. <laughs> Fine tune. Just like magic. the idea. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's like blending. Like, <laughs> blending the edge, and just smooth it out. Yeah. Yeah, I just recommend it with the, the multi chip lights. I think it's much cleaner. Mm -hmm. At least I work here. Why not? Fun to play around with it, I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like making fun. <laughs> Definitely. 